one of my favourite lenses in my kit bag is this one. Welcome to another winter's morning. Quite mild today, but still quite grey overcast sky, so no sunlight. Still worth coming out. I've come a little further from home today, probably about six or seven miles. The river here looks like it's been quite well managed recently. Some nice green weeds on the bottom of the river and some nice overhanging trees. So what we're gonna try and do, I think, is probably have a wander down the river see if we can find a nice little spot and we'll see if we can get a really nice intimate shot of this slow moving river as it trickles downstream. As I've been wandering down the side of this river, it's on the edge of quite a large agricultural field. And on the edge of this field, down here, there's a really nice cluster of trees on the embankment of the river, which gently poking its way out over the edge of this field, which has recently been ploughed and sown with grass seed, I think. So, what I thought I'd do is Maybe set up the camera, have a look through the viewfinder and see if we can make something of this landscape here. What I really like about the landscape is on the edge of the field where the farmers stopped sowing the land. It's actually a really nice curve, so I think that will form quite a nice leading line into the image. Just on the bend is where this great big tree is overhanging the field. Set against grey skies, the sun's hardly had a chance to work its way through the cloud this morning. But I don't mind that. I think a longish focal length of the lens will help flatten the scene and that grey might just help with the image as well. One of my favourite lenses in my kit bag is this one. It's a Nikon 105 macro lens, really sharp, fantastic image. You get lovely soft bokeye on it as well. And just because it's a macro lens doesn't mean to say that you have to use it for ultra close-up shots. It makes a really nice portrait lens, but it also makes really good lens for nature. Being 105 millimeters in focal length just means that you can bring nature into the frame, flatten it slightly and get a really nice image. I'm going to use it today along the river and see if we can make some nice portrait shots of the nature around us.